Hi everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be discussing the vapor powder blushes. I reviewed quite a lot of the vapor lineup ever since that they rebranded um, at the end half of last year. So I will link some more helpful videos down below, but today is blush day. They did release four beautiful pressed powder blushes. I'm going to be putting a little bit on today. I'm going to be swatching them for you. It should be, uh, you know, quick, easy, not usually words that I say when I make it a video, but we're going to do our best here, people. So let's start with the packaging. The packaging on these, they did such a great job um, with the repackaging when they rebranded. It is this really cute little millennial purple disc that is incredibly thin, shade name on the back. Um, it makes it really easy to store and have multiples of these, which I love. When you open it up, we do have a nice magnetic closure. I love that. It makes me feel a little bit secure with these products while traveling. And there is a small mirror inside as well. Should you choose to use it, it is definitely on the smaller side, but can be used in a pinch, absolutely. These will run you $32. Inside, we are getting 2.7 grams worth of product which I think is a little unassuming because they do look relatively small. Um, they're pressed, they're talc free, there's no oxy bismuth chloride in here either. Um, you know, just a nice formulation from Vapor um, at a little bit of a more hefty price point. And I wish there were more shades, but since they just rebranded, this is something that I'm always very hopeful will happen. So it's a little bit on the packaging front. Let's just jump right into the shades. This is going to be easy. I'm not wearing any blush right now. I am going to apply some. I think I'm actually going to do a mix of the first two shades. So I'll show you how I like to use them. Um, first up is the shade Mischief. Mischief is probably my favorite of the lineup because it is this more peachy pink shade. This is just kind of what I go to on an everyday basis. I like more warm eyeshadow looks, things like that. Um, something to make note of, I, if you saw my pressed um, eyeshadow review of Vapor, you will know that, um, you know, the pigmentation on them isn't even amongst all of the shades. I do think you can get a little bit of a better application with a brush with them. However, I think the, the way that they build up color is very conducive to a really easy blend and I think makes them very easy to use, even if it's a little bit more time consuming. It's not that immediate color. These are, these have significantly less fallout in the pans. I will make note of the the ones who have some more. This one is great and has a nice, perfect amount of color. So I'm actually going to put a little bit of this on my cheeks here. I wanted to segue quickly to uh, talk about some brushes that I like to use with these products as well since I'm about to just throw it on the cheeks. So three blush options. One I'll be using today, this is the Antonym number no. three brush. This is typically just used for contouring. It is a more thin, that's where the contouring na name comes from, but still angled blush shape that I, brush shape, oh my god I always mix those two up, that I still think is really great for applying any sort of blush to the cheeks um, in the powder form. If you're a little bit more heavy handed with blush, like myself, or this is great for loose uh, blushes as well. The Alima Pure um, Sculpting Brush is awesome, significantly more fluffy. So if you're worried about really blending out that product, this might be a good one for you. But I actually, I might go in with this one too. I really like to go quite heavy on the blush these days, take it across the bridge of the nose. You know that whole deal. And finally, another good multitasker. This is the Delium Tools 964, the most cost effective of the bunch, and um, not an angled shape. It still has a little bit of a taper, still a little bit wide, so you could kind of hit the apple of the cheeks and blend it upwards. This one's also great for bronzer, so any blush or bronzer combination I think is always great. So I think I'm actually going to change my mind. I'm going to go in with the Alima Pure Sculpting Brush, and I'm going in the shade Mischief. This is the one I just shared with you, and I'm just going to touch it in. You'll see here that there is a little bit of fallout in the pan, nothing crazy, so I will just tap off any excess on my brush. Do a very real smile as I do. And I'm just going to kind of dust this on the cheeks. And what I love is it's like a really nice deposit of color, but it is not overwhelming. I'm not worried about looking like I have too much product on the skin, about it worrying looking very blotchy. I do have a cream highlighter on as well. And what I like is that you can see that this product is not clinging. But look at what a nice amount of color it is, even from that distance that like I just do a little bit of this and it looks really nicely blended. So I'm going to take a little on the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to go on this side as well. And as you can see, this just gave a little bit of life to the face. This is my most used color, absolutely. Um, but a shade like this real, really will only work up to like a light, medium complexion. 
if I'm honest with you. So now that we're properly blushed, I feel more like myself. Let's move on to the next shade, which I think is going to be the favorite of the bunch. This is the shade Smitten, and Smitten is their gilded, pinky, more coral shade. So if you're familiar, this is their NARS Orgasm of their natural blushes. So incredibly wearable. It does give a little bit of luminosity to the skin. This one is even more pigmented than Mischief. This one I would be a little bit more careful with, but it's still has a sheerness to it where like even those colors on it you could sort of see your skin through it and I always like that with blush especially because I do like to go a little bit more heavy-handed than I used to these days but I really like the luminosity on this one it's not glitter particles and chunks you'll not have to worry about that sort of sitting in the pores or anything like that which I love next up is the shade instinct instinct you can see I got my nail in there a little bit whoops is the cool pink of the bunch this is a little bit of a deeper shade as well I like wearing something like this if I'm doing more of a pink lip or a pink eye to get a more tonal look. Um, you know cool tones aren't always my favorite however I do think they're really brightening to the face and I think they look adorable on very very fair complexions. These are not the most universally flattering shade but I do think it is a more unique blush tone because you see a lot of neutral or more warm pinks. I think just because they're a little bit easier to wear. This one's really unique and what I like is that these formulas are so nice and smooth that you can also use them on the eyes. So I can always show you guys that in a video as well. But this is a really nice, uh, cool pink show shade in Instinct. Then finally, we have the shade Obsess. And Obsess is beautiful. If Smitten is not the most popular, I think this one will be. This is a more warm, rosy shade. These are the type of shades that I like to wear when you have a red lip on. It adds a lot of life to the face. This one I think has the most beautiful, smooth texture of the bunch. And just perfect pigmentation on this one as well. They're really consistent in the formula, which I love. I also wanted to make note that these wear really, really nicely, you guys. Blush for me is a little tricky. Blush is just always the first thing to go. Anything on the cheeks or if I have like makeup concealer on the chin, that's just what goes on me first. I'm not quite sure why, but you know, due to this really can compact, adorable packaging, it makes it easy to take with you on the go should you choose to add a little bit more. But this is such a pretty warm, rosy shade that I love a lot. All right, so I think that's about as uh, quick and concise as I could get here on this channel. So per usual, I am just going to include swatch photo of all of these down below so you can compare them to each other. What I like is when you look at them all in the pan, you're kind of like, these all look samey samey. When you swatch them, you absolutely see the difference. Like I said, Mischief is my favorite. I have it on my cheeks today. You saw how really easy it was to apply. Um, if I've done a tutorial using a powder blush from Vapor, I very well may have. I will include that down below as well, just so you can see it more in action. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please never hesitate to leave me a comment down below. I'm here to help, but in the meantime, I will have direct product links to this, uh, to these powder blushes here for you, as well as a full ingredients list so you can sort of investigate, see if these are worth it for you. I think powder blushes are pretty hard to find, especially in such a nice formula, so I am pumped about these very consistent, beautiful wear and easy to apply. You don't have to be as careful with them as you do the eyeshadows. But any other vapor or product reviews that I've done, which there are many now, I will include it down below. All right, so that'll do it for me. If you wanna check us out on social media, we are everywhere in the meantime. Thumbs up this video. I upload here twice weekly, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.